Hello, hello, welcome again. This is Billy the All-Star coming back at you with another cigar review. Hope everybody's doing well. It's good to see you. And as usual, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. And this is your first video of mine. Welcome. Appreciate having you. Hope everything's going well for everybody out there. A little bit about this channel or what I'm trying to do is I am an old man who loves cigars and whiskey. I actually drink in, in general. So I like to do is give you some ideas of cigars and some beverages that will go along with those cigars as well. Now I'm not a professional, just an old man who likes to smoke and drink. Not an expert. Okay. With that being said. What do we have for you today? Glad you asked. I've got something that uh, takes me back to the first time I actually started smoking cigars. And that is a punch classico. Now, let's see that. There we go. It's a punch classico. Now, a little bit about this punch classico. It is called a after dinner and you can see why it's long and something you probably enjoy after a good meal uh, with a with a thing of brandy or a sip of whiskey or something you know just kind of relaxing letting the food settle stuff like that this is a classical this is a seven and a quarter by 45 generally if you know me i like maduros maybe 60 ring gauge stuff like that and up Maybe, yeah. Uh, this is Connecticut Broadleaf Wrapper uh, from Ecuador, Sumatra, and Obscuro. Those are the wrappers. The filler is a Dominican, Honduran, and Nicaraguan. The binder is a Connecticut Broadleaf, and the origin is the Honduras. Now, a little bit about this, so I don't, you know, go into history lesson. In 2018, Punch was voted a, a the number 12 cigar in a, I guess, the top 100 cigars. Also, with Punch, it is the second oldest brand still in production. That's saying a lot. This one started, Punch started in 1840. I think I was three years old. So, it's only three years older than I am. And it was started by a man named Manuel Lopez. He generally created it uh, for the British market. And a little bit about that, there are different sizes. There are Cuban sizes and then Honduran sizes. And Punch is in the process, according to Cigar International, of changing their brand. So they're going to come out with some different cigar bands. So this is one of the old ones, which is good. Generally, I hold on to cigar bands. You can see back there picture I have a lot of them go to my instagram page you'll see what i'm talking about okay we've got it out the wrapper let's take a look at it skinny a lot of veining nice color now uh one thing i, I did on my videos generally when i or for years when i purchase a cigar not while i'm in the bnm I think it's, oh, I smell it. Oh, that smells delicious. Now, please don't do that while you're, before you purchase it, okay? Never stick a cigar under your nose that is not yours. It's considered bad etiquette. And besides, if I'm sniffing on something and put it back, would you want to smoke it? No. Then you wouldn't. So it's common sense things, you know, just once you get it and, and you want to smoke it, smell it. Oh, that is a good smelling cigar. I got some, uh, oh, that's definitely earth, real earth. It's almost like a, a, a earth and a leather there. Oh, yeah. This is a medium. It's full. That's why it's an after dinner. It's a classical. 
it's designed to, as I say, after a big meal, it's thin, takes you a long time to smoke it. Oh, that, oh, that earth and leather is just knocking me out. Now, let's do what they call a cold draw. Got this from Lee Mack. And again, thank you, Lee Mack. Just go to show you an old dog can learn new tricks. And that would be me. Look at this cap. That cap is beautiful. Look at that. Now, I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it and do what we call a cold draw. Generally, I smell it. Earth. Leather. Yes, earth leather. That's what I'm getting. So we're going to cut this up. I mean, just, just the top off of it. That's what I meant. I don't mean we're going to whack it. Okay. Do a cold draw. So just inhale a little bit like you're smoking it. Mm. Yeah. Earth. Yeah, definitely a lot of earth, leather. Leather is more prominent when you do the cold draw. It was when you smell it. Sometimes put it your your nose on different sections; it will smell different. It's a little hint for you, okay? Um, generally, with punch, as I said. This is one of the first cigars that I purchased a box of. That's why I like it so much. First time I went to my B&M, sampled one, said, give me a box. Back then, a box was, oh, these were like 50, 55, 60, $60. That's how long it's been. Way back before they invented electricity. Well, it, it, was, just, it was just starting out. So let's light this up. Okay, as you see, I'm toasting the foot. Me personally, I think you once you toast the foot before and you really get the tobacco lit, I think it burns better. You're able to taste a lot of the flavors. But if you want to light it like a cigarette, just put it in, puff, puff, puff. That's you. You don't, I don't, you don't lose points for that. I gently blow on it. So make sure it's red, red hot. Well, red. And let's, let's see. I'm going to give up on this lighter. I've sat here, filled it. Let it get everything. I think it needs to be bled completely. And I always like to finish off with a match if you know anything about me. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is something. It's supposed to be a medium full. It's definitely a medium starting out. Burns well. Tastes great. I'm definitely getting that leather. Is it a cedar? Crept up in there? Definitely the earth, though. Pretty what? Smoke about a third of this. 
That's going to take a while. Because it's a seven and a, seven and a quarter. And generally when I smoke a punch, depends on what it is, I, I have a particular beverage I always smoke with it. But I'm going to go a different route this time. And I'm going to smoke this and see whether what the, the flavors and the notes change. And then I'll come back with a beverage that we can enjoy with this. If you, if you have a favorite one, leave it in the comments below. Let me know. Okay, yeah. We, we, need, to, we need to work with this one. Okay? Grab yours. Meet me back here in a few, okay? Thank you. Hey there, and I am back. Let me tell you about this. I've already, like I said, I've, pun uh, I've, I've smoked punch for years. And uh, this is actually the first time I had a classico. This, uh, stayed pretty consistent. It had the um the leather and a little touch of cedar, but um it was a good smoke. It's it wasn't I wouldn't say full. I'd say it was basically a medium. It stayed consistent with the medium. It burnt pretty well. As you can see, I smoked quite a bit of it. Uh and pretty good yeah i i'm a fan of punch because as i said that's one of the first cigars i actually spent m well not money but actually buying an entire box of them during then i would always buy four or five and then i would test them out because at that time i was trying to figure out what i liked did i did i want to go mild want to go medium did i want to go full you know so i was always i was just Kind of working around different strengths. This is fantastic. Consistent. It was a good medium. And yes, this is this would be perfect after a meal. I can see why they called it that. Then after dinner. That Connecticut leaf. And those are Dominican, Honduran, and Nicaraguan fillers. And the Sumatra of Skrua wrappers. Good combination. As I said before, this is the second oldest cigar that's been in continuous production. Does anybody know what the first is? Leave it in the comments because I'm not going to tell you. This is what I decided to drink with it. Generally, what I usually drink when I have a punch uh, depends on uh, time of day. It's usually I go for the uh, king, which is Crown Royal. But now I, I felt uh, I didn't feel like Crown Royal. I felt I wanted something a little different because of this punch classical. So... I'm going with Bullet. It's a Frontier Whiskey, Kentucky Straight Bourbon. So let's give it a shot. This would be my first time actually drinking Bullet with a punch cigar. And as usual, I do have the Bullet Cup. Really great cup. I think this is metal with ceramic on it. And I got two of these free when I purchased this. Same price if I had just purchased this. I got two really nice ceramic coated steel mugs. Yes. Hmm. 
let's give it a shot. Hmm. I like that smooth type of snappy taste of a bullet. This after dinner punch classical, seven and a quarter by forty five. Perfect. Yes. I'd say that's a home run. That's a good combination that I'll be trying and 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 doing that. Definitely uh, do a repeat on that one. And if you don't know anything yet, generally what I like to do is uh, I like to mix things up a little bit with bourbon, uh, whiskey, Triple the steel, ball and bond, Crown Royal, Pinch, Chevy's Regal. Uh, some of those are classics. Some of them have stayed the test of time. And that's what I like. And every now and then, I'll maybe get a gin or something like that or vodka. Sometimes even a soda. I might even try that. So I'm going to give that a two and a half, 2.5. Uh, I would have given it a three. It's a, it's a good cigar. Something that you want to relax and put your feet up with. Uh, punch always delivers. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye for this video. I thank you guys a million times for watching them and taking time to spend some time with me and I really appreciate it and it means a lot to me and if you haven't already karate chop that subscription and kung fu that notification bell so you will be alerted the next time I do a video and with that as always this is Billy All-Star saying if you cannot be nice at least be cool someone asked me what that meant I'm going to tell you in a different video exactly what that means. It has a lot of a connotation to it. If you think you have an idea what it means, leave it in the comments. I'm more than happy to read them and share them with the audience. So as usual, this is for you. And this is for me. This is the all-star saying, you guys have a great evening, bless you all, and may all your dreams come true. Goodbye.